I listen online thank you very much after some longer time so today I'm going to show you on this tutorial how we can try to penetrate uh, Windows Server 2012 machine using eternal blue exploit uh, that is Windows Server 2012 so I think we can be able to to start it because today I have found such a fault on my network and then uh, the reason was um, it happened that the file sharing was on on the server which I think some network administrators can make such a mistake and at the end the hacker has the capability to view the port 445 open and then we'll try to to penetrate into into the server and then if the hack is successful and everything is going to be a mess so thank you let's try to proceed uh, first of all I would like us to net discover this is the good step which the the hacker can be able to to try especially when the person is on the same network as you so i will try to network discover and then after mapping this network and then we will be able to get the the device but because i actually know the the ip address should it happen that uh, it takes too long then we shall be able to to make sure that we get it ourselves but it's very fortunate that we get it I know that the IP address that I've tested is 72 uh, so now without wasting some more time let's try to clear this here and then try to ping this IP address and try to prove that the IP address is actually on and then from here we can be able to see that it can be able to respond um, and then try to network map and map um, we are trying to fingerprint and then see the, th the surfaces that are running on this um, on this machine so it will be like okay. These flags will show me the operating systems and the service packs that are running the on this server. So we shall be able to see what services are running, what operating systems, what service, uh, the different software versions are running, so that we can be able to to see maybe even the weaknesses that may be happening on the system or on the server so right now we shall be waiting a little bit so that we can see what actually is going on here so um let's wait a while and we're still waiting um we're just waiting here so we shall be able to see what is actually cooking on the on the machine yes all right um let's uh, ping it again but I'm still waiting uh like seven two okay still on and then we're just waiting to see whether this packet will tell us something that is more of what we like because i would like us to follow some good hacking uh, strategy so this is why i'm waiting for this end map to be able to finish on the on the things that are actually taking place here 
so after some time it will show us what is what is going on on this machine but manually we can try to see on the browser of um, uh, what is going on if HTTP is currently available because this is the machine so this is the server and we can see things like this and then let's try to to just be crazy while nmap is still doing some things there then we can see that even ftp manually is actually on so it has some ftp service and it has some http service but we shall be able to see some more services while nmap ends but because manually we can we have tested that the machine is on and then what we are just waiting for is the the nmap results okay segmentation fault okay no problem uh, let's try to see what is actually cooking here Okay. All right. So we can see that port 21 is actually open and then it is a domain controller. It runs on certain domain or it's a domain controller. So we have some HTTP port that we have seen, HTTP, um, TCP, and then we have like uh, uh, 135 as well as 139, which is NetBIOS, and then we also have like 445, which is the port that we want. So let us focus mostly on port 445 apart from these ones because on port 80 we can test for some direct reversal problems and then we shall see them hereafter but currently let us um, let us wait and then see if we shall be successful on 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 port 445 because it's the fastest hacking methodology that we can approach so because we have just scanned the system and then let's clear this um let's try to start some postgre sql store and then hereafter then we can msf console so we can scan the vulnerability that is actually existing on this on this server now we can search um, um let's try to serve ms 17 and then we shall be able to see that this scanner is right here use auxiliary okay right so let's use um this and then let's try to clear the whole mess here then show options and then from here we can see that uh, we have the our hosts and then from our host set our host our hosts as 192.168.88.8 um um 72 and let's try to run this scanner yes and then the host is likely vulnerable to ms 17 uh, which is windows server 2012 r2 and it can show us some more uh, server information that is banner grabby and then from here uh, we can try to clear this whole shit here 
and then from here we can we can see that it's vulnerable and then let's try to exploit the vulnerability that is actually existing on the server so let's try it it can be good or it can be bad sometimes but i think it um, it will require some patience here so let's search some exploit search eternal blue um all right we have this eternal blue because it's server 2012 we know that a service pack can be right here because this is server 2012 and it's it's likely to be mostly windows 8 so this is why i'm using this exploit so now um let's clear and show options and from here you can set our host to the target machine and then let's try to set payload payload um, to windows 64 because it, it has told us that it's a 64-bit meta prayer reverse reverse tcp and then from here uh, set our port remote port to 445 and then set l port to 4444 because metasploit framework listens on Part uh, 4444. So now let's set lhost l host to this machine. So let's check our IP address if config and then it's 175 okay to 192.168.88. Uh, 175 and then let's try to run this exploit here okay thank you very much and then we can see that we have a session opened and it's very very easy and it's very very fast let's see info then we can see that we have like windows server 2012 r2 and then from here let's try to find the shell and then we are in the computer thank you very much for watching what let's try to see what we can do from here the, we are in the server then we can see that more information it's on a domain my box and it's my colleague and um from here this is x64 windows machine and um we have gained a reverse shell so let's try to exit and then we are in a metapreter shell what we can do you can ask for help here and then from here you can get a list of uh, the commands that you can do you can upload some more information for some more viruses you can do some many things that is post exploitation because now you are in the in the in the machine let's try to get system Okay, thank you. We can do some post exploitations here. Wow. Okay, hash dump. Okay, hash dump. Wow. Okay, this is so wow. And remember, this is what you can do. Um. All right so these are the list of some further exploitations that you can do to gain some administrative access on this server machine so thank you very much guys for watching and i sort of like you and should it happen that um, you did not understand anything that i'm doing here 
please be kind enough to ask me the questions of what is actually taking place here you can uh, even twitter me you can ask me on linkedin you can ask me here on facebook you can ask me on youtube on my channel bc hacker and i don't think i will respond badly should it happen that you don't like what i'm doing uh please make me aware that i need to pull myself up so that i i can make you happy and thank you very much for watching okay